Hello, you've made it just in time for a wonderful story. I'm Javier Guzman, Regional Director for Big Picture Learning. This is Books with Brothers. I have the pleasure of reading to you Jacqueline Woodson's The Day You Begin, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. It's a wonderful story of the importance of telling your story and that when you do, the world begins to open up. Before I start, I want to give a deep appreciation for Miss Woodson's Miracles Boys. It's a book that when I was a teacher in Brooklyn, teaching uh, literature and literacy, it was so important for my students who um, many did not identify as being readers. And that book just set them on a different trajectory and a different path um, as, as far as readers uh, go, at least readers in school. So thank you. Okay, the day you begin. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto from Venezuela. Your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Jayla says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile, they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey, their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb, and your day spent at home caring for your little sister, who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room, when, where no one else is quite like you, you will look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Naja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't know yet 
what you are ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Thank you.